Good evening, this is Night Prayer for Tuesday, October the 21st. It's year one, Advent four, and week four of the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 61, Revelation chapter 20, verse 11, through chapter 21, verse 8. And the antiphon is from hymn 55, Redeemer of the Nations. Our help is in the name of Yahweh, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we've sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. All praise, O unbegotten God, all praise to you, eternal word. Psalm 61 O God, hear my cry, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call, my heart is faint. On a rock too high for me to reach, set me on high. O you who have been my refuge, my tower against the foe. Let me dwell in your tent forever and hide in the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, hear my prayer. Grant me the heritage of those who fear you. May you lengthen the life of the king and may his years cover many generations. May he ever sit enthroned before you. May love and truth be his protection. So I will always praise your name and day after day fulfill my vows. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. All praise, O unbegotten God, all praise to you, eternal word. The lesson is from the book of Revelation, chapter 20, beginning at verse 11. And then I saw a great white throne, and the one who sat on it. The earth and the heaven fled from his presence, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Also another book was opened, the book of life, and the dead were judged according to their works as recorded in the books. And the sea gave up the dead that were in it, death and Hades gave up the dead and were in them, and all were judged according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire, and anyone whose name was not found written in the book of fire was thrown into the lake of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among the mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his people, and God, will be the, God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear, and death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. And then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. 
But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the polluted, the murderers, the fornicators, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands, O Yahweh, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Yahweh, O God of truth. Hide us as the apple of your eye. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Ever-living God, whose will it is that all should come to you through Jesus Christ, inspire our witness to him, that all may know the power of his forgiveness and the hope of his resurrection who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.